Hi there, welcome to a statistics video which explores how to find the mean from a table, from a frequency distribution table. I know we can find the mean by adding up the scores and dividing by how many there are if you've got a small amount of scores. And we can also find the mean on the calculator, but this is how to find the mean from a frequency distribution table. So here's a bunch of numbers and we can put them into a frequency distribution table where we have the scores and we can tally up how many uh, how many of those scores we have how many times each of those scores occur what are the frequencies of each of those scores so we did this in a previous video about frequency distribution tables so we'll use that same data to illustrate how to find the mean from this situation so what we do is we uh, add an extra column we call the fx column now uh, we call the scores the X column and the frequencies uh, we call that F, the F column. And FX uh, in algebra when things are beside each other, letters are beside each other, there's an invisible multiply. We consider them to be multiplying together. So that FX column, all we do to find the number that we need to put in there is to multiply the score by how many times it occurs. So what that does is it really adds up the totals of the scores because if you've got uh, three scores of two, then that's adding 6 to the total and 3 scores of 7 is adding 21 to the total etc. So that's really our total column, this fx column and uh, the f column is really the number of scores we have. So in the end uh, what we're doing is uh, finding the total of the scores and dividing by how many they are, there are and uh, so that's how you find a mean generally, you add up the scores and divide by how many there are. So let's uh, fill in this frequency times score or fx column here, all it is is 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 7 is 21, 4 times 2 is 8, and uh, all we're doing is multiplying the score each time by how many times it occurs, 5 scores of 6, oh, sorry, 6 scores of 5 in this case is 30, and uh, 5 scores of 6 uh, adds 30 also to the, to the total and uh, two scores of seven adds 14 to the total. So we've got um, the FX column filled in there. We'll just get some totals here. The sum of the frequency column is important for us and the sum of the FX column is important for us. So we'll add those two up. If we add up the frequency column here, we'll have 25 as the total. There are 25 scores we could double check. And um, the F times X column, we add those numbers together and we get 109. So how do we find the mean is, um, we take the fx column and divide by the f column. So this is the, the arrangement for finding the mean from a table. We create an fx column and add that up and put the sum of the fx column over the sum of the f column. So in this case the sum of the f column, uh, fx column was 109 put that on the top, we'll divide by the 25 scores we have. So it's the total still divided by how many there are and that gives us a mean of 4.36 and uh, there we have it. So we uh, create an extra column from a normal, uh, add, add an extra column to a normal frequency distribution table and um, and we get the totals of those two columns, the F and the FX column and we put in that arrangement, big number divided by small number in this case. So that's how we do it. Sum of the FX column over the sum of the F column. Now I wanted to uh, alert you to the fact that some textbooks have a funny symbol, uh, mathematical symbol for the phrase sum of, and that's uh, a funny looking E symbol. And uh, so it's the, that symbol of the FX, so the sum of the FX column over the sum of the F column. So if you see that in a textbook, that arrangement there, then uh, don't be put off by that. All that symbol means is uh, the sum of, so uh, those two, two boxes are really saying the same thing, just in uh, well, the second one just uses a mathematical symbol or two. So there you have it, that's how you find the mean from a frequency distribution table. We create an FX column, we get the total of that and divide it by the total of the frequency column. Uh, and that can be a bit of a shortcut, it'll save us typing it all into the calculator there. Uh, particularly if you've already uh, put together a frequency distribution table. It's just a little bit of an addition to it, an extra column to help us find the mean from the table there. Thanks for listening, and we'll catch you next time, peterblakemass.com.